Hey everybody, welcome back to camp. <laughs> Weems Mountaintop. We've got a fire going, trying to stay heated as the sun comes up. I'll probably put that out here in a minute. Um, actually, you know what, let's just go ahead and do that now. Uh, extinguish. Because I think we'll be okay. And if we do get a little bit cold, that's okay. A little bit of damage never hurt anyone. So we're going to go ahead and drop a number of things off here. Again, we're going to set out as we did last time uh, for hunting. Now, last time I was hunting hunters. And this time, yeah, we're going to be doing the same. I'm going to be keeping an eye out for hunters. But primarily, I want to get some meat. Uh, I'm really sick and tired of eating vegetables. So we're going to hunt wolves. That's, that's going to be a thing today. Um, I've got ammo uh, enough to take out five I think I had five good shots on the one and took him out a level three so you know we'll call 15 bullets like two because I'll be missing I'm sure plus we have the pistol uh, for maybe some lower level wolves so that's the plan to take out some uh, some wolves and um, maybe we'll see hunters but of course as we did last time I want to leave some things behind I don't want to take everything with me um, if I die I don't want to worry too much about uh, what was left out there um, let's leave you nine of those nice and the cloth the rest of this is not too bad actually some of the stacks right oh is that okay there we go um and you there and we will take the rest of this stuff right let me make sure am i leaving any food because i kind of need it <laughs> no okay cool um the plants haven't really gone anywhere yet. We've gone one percent of water down, light six percent. Oh, light! So we're gonna get more of that during the day. Of course, those were planted not too long ago, so we can't really expect much there. Um, so let's do this. We're gonna we're gonna stay somewhat nearby, um, at least initially for the wolves. I don't want to uh, start wandering too far away, be fighting a wolf, and then run across like hunters. If that's a thing, I would rather just stay really focused on one or the other. Um, so it's kind of a first come first serve basis here. We do have a bear out there. And of course we're gonna grab the, the boxes while we're out, for sure. For sure. Let's scoop this one up. I think I can make a shotgun. Um, they, I, I don't think it took that many cloth. I only have a few, but it's possible I can make a shotgun at this point, which are good for um, going against bears, but that is a level one wolf too. Oh, nice. Wood crate. Scoop that. Okay, so we do have a level 1 wolf. Granted, we don't get as much from a level 1. Um, and I think if we're going against a level 1 wolf, we'll go pistol. So let's do this. We're going to get back a bit. I'd like to get him from range if possible. Um... Oh, I almost shot one more time. It was just my finger was on the trigger. I'm glad I didn't. Uh, let's see. Try to save as many bullets as we can, right? Get in here, Weem. Okay, so we're not going to get a whole bunch off of this one. That's okay. We're just, uh, you know, if I could eat like one steak a night, I think I'd feel pretty good about that. Oh, yeah, we get the cloth from that. Oh, man, I'm feeling really good about this now. We definitely need to hunt some, uh, <laughs> hunt some wolves. Let's see. I'm curious about the rabbits. Um, do you do we get any cloth from them? I may have to take one of them out today as well. Um, just to see, because I haven't even killed one yet. I haven't even been able to get close to them. Chickens we can catch, but rabbit that I've run after? No, that hasn't worked out so well. I am keeping my eyes out for any kind of structure, a hunter's base or anything. I want to be real careful. Now, yesterday I was thinking about it. It could have been easy to miss a hunter because they do have to build their bases. They don't just, you know, start with a base. They have to put those together. So it's entirely possible that yesterday while roaming, uh, it really was just going to be, you know, a hunter or two wandering around. Uh, much harder to spot than an actual um, building that had been constructed. So who knows? Maybe today we'll run into something. I'm really hoping we do. And if so, I hope I get the drop on them. <laughs> Let's see. Got another uh, bag over here. Scoop you up. Some ammo. We'll definitely take it. Um, so we could try for a level 3 wolf uh, with the pistol, but as we saw with the last one, that was a level 1, and it took... Um, it took all of my shots except one bullet. Something like that. 
So I definitely would have run out. Like on a higher level wolf, I would have had to like switch weapons. Probably would have been the faster thing to do. Uh, which I am prepped to do. Obviously, I've, I'm carrying the two guns. Oh, there's a rabbit. Okay, what does he have? 30? Did I hit him? I think I did. Oh, he turned on me last second. Look at him go. He's so fast, even though he's been shot. Did I get you? No? I got shot too high. Oh! Ween! There we go. Yeah, that took way too many bullets. Oh, wait, he's just hurt. <gasps> I hear a wolf. No. You leave my rabbit alone. That's my rabbit. Reload. Okay, I may go rifle and take this guy out. I want my rabbit. Whoa. Stop running. There we go. Nice. Okay, I'm going to come back for you. I need to get my rabbit, though. <laughs> Let's see. So there you are. You're down. Are you moving? Oh, you're not moving at all. Oh, I can pick you up? Hold on. Oh, check that out. I can hang on to him. An injured rabbit can be domesticated to yield... Ooh, man. Okay. Well, this saves a bullet. Um, well, now that we know that, let's just go ahead and kill him <laughs> and butcher him. Ooh, and we got a cloth out of that. Excellent. Awesome. Okay, so I think that was, what, a two-bullet thing? I mean, obviously I missed. <laughs> that wasn't good. But, um, yeah, that's pretty good. Let's get up here. I can't move my screen again. I can't see the bear. Uh, take that back out. <laughs> Cool. Well, let's see. We got a level three wolf. Um, we'll grab this bag here, and I really need to reload that rifle. There we go. Okay. Let's see about finding another wolf. Um, I'm thinking that my shot before on that first wolf was not as good as I thought it was because I, I think I killed it in like four or five shots. I thought I was pretty accurate and it took all those, but we just killed a level two with like whatever that was, like two hits or something. So <laughs> I have a feeling I was missing a lot. You're not as good as you think you are, Weem. Let's hop up here. I'm going to try to get a bead on that wolf over there. Yeah. He's a level three. He's going to zigzag on me a bit. can't tell if I hit him. Oh, no. Yeah. Yeah, money. Let's reload this now. Cool. We're getting all kinds of food. Should have been doing this a while ago, probably, but trying to conserve ammo and all. Trying to be cautious. We're going to eat well tonight. Look at that. Two steaks. Nice. No cloth on him, though. Okay, let's see. How are we doing on ammo? And we can actually make more. Um, oh, I should make a pick, too. Yeah. I guess I'm not gathering a whole lot of metal right now, anyway. Um, let's see. Do these cross? They do. Uh, well, I guess it doesn't matter. I can't make rifle rounds. I can make one of the pistol. Now, we'll hold on to that. Because the pistol rounds are okay. It's the rifle ones I'm a bit low on. Okay, let's keep going. Let's keep going. This is going really well. Um, now we could try for a bear. Uh, might not be a bad idea. I guess we could give that a whirl. <laughs> if we had a nice long distance. I can't tell what level he is. Maybe if we see one that's like a lower level. Um, and then we just back off a ways. Hopefully they don't get too zigzaggy. He's a level one. Well, that's perfect. Let's get back here a bit. And hopefully I don't draw that wolf next to him. I don't know if that's a thing or not. There we go. Nice. That was great. Let's see if we can get out of a bear. Our very first bear. Hopefully we get like five cloth. That'd be amazing. <laughs> One... Uh, Alright, that's fine. Look at all this meat! This is perfect! 
Okay, um... I was secretly hoping I would have run across hunters by now. Like, at least seen some kind of structure. Really try to keep my eyes out. But, um, I think what we'll do is we'll cruise back. Um, my hunger is probably not great. You can see my protein's all the way down. So, I kind of want to eat. Um and drop off the rest of this meat because it's occupying a lot of inventory space. Back at base I just noticed something. I kind of jumped in here wanted to move something out of here and held shift and left click and there you go. <laughs> so that's how that's done. Um, it looks like things do stack as well as they come out so that's cool. Let's just grab um, some components because I want to look at a few more things. Um, let's see some of these. I guess that's cool for now. Sure. And then, of course, we don't need this guy. We have some liver. We have some meat. These are all things I want to cook and then store. So I guess that's something I can do now as long as I'm paying attention. Pay attention, Weem. Don't burn your food this time. <laughs> but um, I also want to look at uh, some of the stuff that I've gathered. I've got some wood. Um, let's go ahead and do some planks. Looks like we can do something like 10 planks. And how much cordage can we do? Just the one. Really didn't gather that much, I guess. <laughs> I want to look at clothes. Um, heavy duty shirt. Oh, okay, so you, you have to have padded for that. Interesting. So I can make a lightweight shirt with that cloth, um, which is interesting. I like the idea of that because I do get a bit, a bit chilly at night. I have a feeling that if I were wearing like nice heavy duty stuff, like heavy duty pants and shirt, that maybe nighttime traveling might be not a problem. But the thing about that is um, it's so dark and so dangerous. I'm not doing a lot of that anyway. I don't think I will. So I think we'll go ahead and skip on that for now. But what I wanted to look at was some of this stuff again, foundations, um, some of the base building elements, because I like the idea of expanding. And I've been so focused on the other stuff that I haven't really thought much about this in a bit. Um, so let's see, we're going to get like, what do we have, five now? Um, that's going to be six plus uh, six more, so we'll have 12. Uh, so we could do three walls, but that doesn't matter unless I have a foundation. If I do a foundation, that means I can do uh, like two walls. So I can't really do a whole lot there. I guess that's not a huge deal if it's like open. Plus if I tear down a wall, it's going to give me like half the materials back. Um, I think I might be okay like with the wall open for a bit so that might be a thing we do um i might just need to think about that a second though i just want to look in here one more time um yeah this does take the wood as well is that i only have three scrap metal i mean i guess i used a lot on the planter box um there's six uh wood burner ah oh, we're one away we are one away from making this guy one scrap metal. So I think I might actually run out and try and find that. Um, let me just drop like some of this. I think that's what I'll do. I think I'll make a run. Um, we'll see. Maybe we'll get lucky. Let me go down the other side. Um, I've been doing a lot over that way. Uh, let me come down this side and see if we can just happen across any scrap metal really quick. Because that would be great to be able to do that. Um, a box. I think that's actually a locked box out there. Am I going to get lucky? No? I see a rabbit. Let's <laughs> hoping that maybe right here. You tend to see in these like cleared out areas of like rock and dirt. Um, okay, well anyway, I think I'll look around for a little bit and see if I can find one. Well, that didn't take too long. I just ran out in the flat area and opened a box. Happened to have one in it, so... Let's go ahead and grab, oh, and there's another one. <laughs> so if that didn't do it, I found one right there. So let's do this. Let's actually make this really quick. Um, <laughs> really? <laughs> that was probably right there when I left. Oh, weem. Okay, let's see. Um, wood burner, right? Look at that. We have all, all of the things. Thank you, wolves and bear. <laughs> okay, so there goes the power in order to make this happen. Excellent. Oh, this is going to be cool. Get this refinery going. Or the wood burner, rather. Okay, and then while I'm here, let's just go ahead and grab out the fat. So where do we put this? I guess I could stick this one outside. Um, oh, wait, it says it warms a place, right? 
Yeah, we want that inside. What are you thinking, Ween? Let's see, five? Yeah. Cool, check that out. Okay, so we can rotate with this guy. Um, I just want to see it turn around. Okay. Cool. Uh, trying to decide how that looks. Is that a, does the pipe stick out? Oh, it goes like into a wall. Okay. Okay, cool. Let's do that. Um, and then we'll just do it kind of just right here. I think it's fine. It's hard for me to tell if it's clipping through the wall or not there. I guess I'll just have to visually keep it off the wall just a little bit. How'd I do? Eh, it's a bit farther off than I would want, but that's okay. Okay, let's open this guy up. So much like another, um, just like the fireplace, uh, ignition with fuel and everything. Um, and then render fat is a separate thing. Oh, we don't need the fire because we can actually cook in this thing. Excellent. So we're going to add fat into here. Okay, so that's filling into this funnel. And then we just need to um, ignite this with fuel. It looks like it's got a little bit in it. Um, okay, before I do that, I don't want to ignite this just yet. Let's actually grab a little bit more wood. I'm afraid I have to, I'm going to go get wood. Like, is this one spent? No. Um, I was afraid I was going to go get wood and it would burn out before I got back. And then I would have to ignite it again. I do have matches in the fireplace. Um, but it's just kind of a waste of a match. Okay. Scoop these guys up. And then we don't need this anymore. So we're going to take this out. And I'll probably break that down. Too. We've got this now. So we're going to split this. Drop three in here for now. It gets the fuel up a bit. Go ahead and ignite that. Check this. So I'm assuming this will melt down. Oh, you know what? I bet we have to have something to put this in. <laughs> We're not just going to have it pour out on the ground, right? Oh boy, what do we use there? Um, I don't think it's a bottle because if we drink one, the bottle just disappears, right? Yeah. Let's um, let's split one. Oh, there it goes. Cool. So it just it just creates a biofuel um, canister. Awesome. That's excellent. And then we could be cooking. Oh, let's... This is, like, wasteful, right? It's wasteful not to be doing this right now. Oops, I don't know what I just picked up. <laughs> let's put this guy in there. Um, we're gonna cook three steaks at a time here. Awesome! So we have steaks going, we have fat rendering. Perfect. So we had an interesting thing happen here. I cooked three steaks, which were great. Pulled those off in time. And then I put three livers on right away, and one of them became rotten steak and the other two went slightly cooked and are now cooked so I guess that's just a thing that could happen so we do have a rotten one that's very interesting so we're gonna throw this in there that in there and I guess that's good can we throw these guys in no okay <laughs> cool so those are gonna cook now one of the things I wanted to try was I don't know if this is a thing is this a thing can I like take this rotten guy and like put it in as fertilizer no okay I didn't know. I'm not a farm guy. I don't know if that's a thing. I just know that uh, we can use animal waste uh, as fertilizer, right? I'm assuming. Poop, in other words. But I didn't know if, like, rotten stuff could be used. Is that just is that just me being crazy? I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. But um, anyway, this is good. You can see our protein's, like, gone. And our food is really low. So we're going to actually go ahead and eat this. You can see 29 protein, 3 vegetable, 24 hunger. That's pretty good. I want to see if these were like the same. Okay, cool. Let's go ahead and eat one. Nom. Oh man, this is going to be great. That helped a lot. That's awesome. I really need a fridge, but that's expensive. <laughs> 1200 power. Which is crazy. Uh, let's see. Medium, low grade. Rabbit. Cooked, right? Alright, where are we at there? cooked out you go and you are also cooked I don't have any more meat to cook um, there is still fat rendering but I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and extinguish this and pull this guy out and as long as that'll sit there that's good right we don't want to just just do one thing I think it'd be most efficient to only really render fat while we are also cooking or while we're trying to heat ourselves in here in which case I will also try to be cooking so Basically, we just need to store this stuff, store this meat. Um, 
hope it doesn't rot but if I see these kind of dipping or they kind of are giving an indication that they're like rotting um, I will probably just start devouring them and <laughs> just try to get through them um, so I got all this biofuel this is perfect okay and I wanted to just check before I go if, if there's anything else we could be making um, cordage for example wood planks um, the small stuff in preparation for perhaps making you know a foundation walls and stuff like that so I could definitely make a foundation right now I'm not really sure what the point would be um, when I can't do any walls obviously I've got like no more planks or anything so um, I think what I'll do is just wait on that there's no sense in making that putting it down out here <laughs> when I can't even use it so yeah we'll just hold on to that for now well I think that'll about wrap it for today we're obviously just kind of huddled here by the fire it's very cool looking <laughs> one of the things I tried just now was to throw the rotten liver back in and um, once it was once it burned you can see it actually provides five protein and four hunger uh, it does cost us a little bit of hydration but it was better than zeros across the board and in fact potentially poisoning us poisoning us so we could hang on to this in case we get desperate I don't think we're gonna get desperate but um, I would imagine I'll just end up throwing that away or just eating it, uh, you know, with while I've got a bunch of liquids or something. Um, so anyway, that's kind of it for now. Storage is getting a bit low, so part of me was thinking about making um, storage because I guess I didn't need to open that to make storage. You can see I can actually do this right now, so I'm very tempted to do that tonight, but I'm going to think about that a bit. The plants haven't really come along. I, I think that I really need to get, um, you know, maybe more water. Uh, better fertilizer and potentially upgrade you know do some kind of upgrading here which of course means getting more of the fragments um, that reminds me let's take a look at the lock pick again I think that's gonna be a key thing um, oh man 18 iron fragments that's brutal that is brutes so anyway that could be a bit of a wait but uh, <laughs> I do really want to get this going because of all the stuff we have planted in here this would be really good to have these growing well so I could of course break it down and put it outside and hope that the light is a bit better in that case um, but it was you know it wasn't cheap to make that so I don't really want to lose uh, as, as much of the material as I would probably end up losing so for now it remains indoors but um, anyway that that will as I mentioned wrap it up I do want to thank you guys for watching as always I really appreciate it and I'll catch you next time